and welcome back to our building a website from start to finish series we've been working in CSS and HTML here for quite a bit over the last couple of videos uh, we're going to continue on here uh, the last video we set up our buckets here with some wraps and I kind of went into detail on how these wraps worked and how we floated things next to each other without having to use tables so the next thing we're going to do though is start messing with some of our images again and we're going to go ahead and, and we're going to add our learn more button let's come up here in our code and get rid of the text for this first learn more button and let's come over here to our files panel here and let's find our button bucket here and drag it in right between these uh, link tags here and just make the learn text or the uh, alternate text learn more about our basic plan and say ok I'm gonna go ahead and drag out our code view here in fact I'm just gonna to switch to code view for the moment so hopefully you can visualize this um, I'm just going to go ahead and copy this link here, the whole link with the image and everything, and we're going to highlight this and paste over top of it, and uh, change this to economy, highlight this, paste over top of it, change this to deluxe, and you guessed it on the fourth one we're going to do the same and change this to unlimited and let's go ahead and split the screen again here and there we have our buttons they are uh, not totally where we want them to be obviously they're not in the center so what I want to do is I want to create another div here that wraps around the cost and the uh, learn more button and again there's a there's a couple different ways we could approach what I'm about to do too so if you figure out a different way go for it but um, I'm just gonna go ahead and make a div call this class uh, bucket bottom go ahead and close it and we're gonna have this wrap around uh, or contain the uh, cost and the button here and we can go ahead and copy this here and do this on each one of them and come back up here and grab our closing div tag plop that sucker there And uh, I use a lot of shortcuts and copying and paste, and, and hopefully you can follow along. It's I try to mention all the shortcuts I'm using, so you can start using them yourself. It, it makes your workflow so much better, or workflow that is. Um, you can get things done much more efficiently. So let's come up here. I'm just going to do a little bit of formatting here. And do some quick commenting on our divs. Which actually these should be bumped out too. So I'm going to pause the video and run through these really quick. Um, I'm just going to put the comments on the end of these divs. Alright, now I've got all my commenting correct. Um, there hasn't been any change in the design view except for you now you see the uh, kind of uh, guide here for the uh, div. So let's come over to our CSS and let's go ahead and 
let's come down to our bucket rules here. We really should be doing this down here. Again, how you organize your CSS is up to you, and um, I'm going to try and stay as organized as I can during these this series, but uh, for time's sake, I might be a little loosey-goosey, but you really should keep your, your document organized pretty well, and keep the same standard of of organization throughout your your projects just so you you can get get back into your your CSS and you know later on down the road know what you're doing but anyway so we'll make a bucket bottom rule here and first thing we're gonna do is just simply makes the text make the text align center so there we go And, and I'm going to go ahead and make another class here, and I may move it somewhere else in the document. For, for now, we're going to put it here, and it's going to be the A image dot button cla uh, class. And I'm going to apply this uh, button class to this here image. And we may be able to use this later on in the site, uh, depending if we use any more images as buttons. But what this is going to do is simply strip the default awful um, blue border that goes on an image by, by default when it's a link. So we're just going to do border none and then save this and come back over to our source code and, and put that class here in our image. I'm going to switch to code view so we can see better. So class button Let's just go ahead and copy this here and paste it into each one of these images. Save this and flip back to CSS and we'll flip back to the split design. And there you go. Things are starting to come together a little better now. Now let's flip back to source code and we're going to do the uh, class for cost. And I do not remember if we already set that up. Yeah, we do. It's right here. So let's flip back to Photoshop and select that here and get a rough idea. Um, it's nearly 21 pixels high. And again, you'll see that's not totally accurate when it translates over here, but... Let's just start with that. We'll do 22. Oh, and here's something to note. This is actually in the bucket bottom div now, so we need to change this to bucket bottom. There we go. And we need to make our text. I believe our text stays the same. Yeah, we'll just make this the, the same as above. So font family. Somebody please send me a comment with the proper way, or make a even make a response video with the proper way to uh, pronounce this here. Trebuck, Trebucket. Um, anyway. Um, for now, since I think we're going to use that same font throughout the entire bucket, let's go ahead and drag this rule up into the bucket itself. So actually, let's cut that find our actual bucket uh, wrap. we didn't actually make a rule for. So let's go ahead and reuse this one here. We'll just call this wrap bucket. So remember we initially had just the bucket class and we got we replaced that with bucket left and right. So and paste that. Sorry, it's buckets, plural. And there we go. So everything's the same font. Now, 
we could probably go ahead and make this cost bold. So, so let's go and make the text a little bigger. We'll try 28. I'm liking that a little better. Again, the beauty of CSS is we can always come in here and make subtle tweaks if once we've got everything in here we think this is too bold or too tall. Let's flip back over to Photoshop because I just remembered that we did have a subtle gradient on this. Um, so I'm going to make a call here and, and uh, we're not going to use this. Um, and I'm doing this because um, this is just kind of some for, forethought. Uh, if this was an actual client or if this was my actual website and store for my hosting company, there's a good chance that this price could change. It could change once a year, once every five years, or it could change monthly or something, just like the gas prices. So do I really want to come in or even pay somebody to come in and make new images every time this needs to be changed? So I'm going to go ahead and make a call here and say we're just going to make this blue text. And if it doesn't look good, maybe we'll, we'll resort back to the images. So I'm just going to pick kind of the middle of the road blue. Come in here and steal the color code. Copy it. Go back to Dreamweaver and make that color. There you go. Now, if you really do want to use the images, and if uh, assuming we don't end up using them, um, just go ahead and follow the same concept that I do on these uh, these headers here. You should be able to apply that same uh, idea here. Um, let's do some positioning, though. Let's look at our document here. And let's get a rough idea the space. It's around 18 pixels. I think we got way more space here. So let's go ahead and set our margin and stuff and let's just come up here and steal this margin and padding zero. You'll find you probably do this a lot when you're developing or uh, doing CSS. there, Because it kind of gives us a clean slate and strips out the uh, predefined uh, rules for the uh, paragraph tag. So now we can come in and say, you know, maybe 20 pixels. We'll see what that looks like. And that's kind of where we were. Cut that in half. Maybe even less. That's good for now. But we actually only want it on the uh, bottom at this point, so make this zero, zero, six, zero. 